The next tool available to us in the 2D LiDAR tool is the grid view. To select the grid view, we could click over in this left-hand panel, the second option here. Grid view, just like the project view, allows us to get a better understanding of the object. Here we could arrange all of the frames of the object in a grid. Up here you'll see LiDAR and also cameras. This allows us to toggle between setting up a grid based off of the LiDAR points or setting up a grid based off of camera view. Whichever one of these you use will depend on what type of work you are doing. If you are adjusting the positioning or sizing, you'll probably be using the LiDAR view. However, if you are adjusting attributes or you're checking attributes, you're more likely going to want to use the camera view. You could adjust what grid uh, we're showing here by clicking on the drop down panel, and we could show either back view, side view, overhead view, or you could also do this by pressing the hotkey J, which lets us scroll through as well. In addition, we could adjust the amount of frames on the page by clicking on this drop down menu here. Here I've organized it into 100, grid, 100 frames on this grid. And in order to go to the next 200, you can go click on this arrow right here to the right. Additionally, we could adjust the size of these uh, frames by clicking and dragging this scroll wheel here. And also you could adjust how zoomed in we are in the object by clicking this slider here. So for example, if I'm opening up camera view and I notice that it's kind of hard to see these, you could adjust the image zoom accordingly here and also adjust the frame size here. If the object doesn't appear in the camera views, you're just not going to see it as well. Okay. Cool. Finally, on the LiDAR view of the grid view, we could use a tool called reference markers. What reference markers allows us to do is place a point inside of the grid, place the next point, and this will be reflected in all of the other frames in the grid as well. This is very useful for seeing if you're keeping the car anchored in place. For example, is the windshield being held in the same place in all of the frames in the grid view? Uh, it's also useful for measuring objects, uh, measuring the distance. For example, if you notice that the space between the bumper is growing over time, that might be an indicator of a positioning error. And it also allows us just to keep a visual aid to help us see if we're keeping the points in line. Again, we'll go more into depth in grid view, but this is just an overview of why the grid view is useful and how to also do the basics on adjusting or changing the settings here.